Okay, okay. Today, in my interpreting uh, assignment, I learned about frozen shoulder. Okay. Oh, yeah, this person. Frozen shoulder basically happens, and doctors don't know why. Okay, and he and this doctor told me, Doctor Kim, A Asia Kim, A S A. That's his my his first name. A Asa Kim, I think he's Korean. He say that nobody knows why frozen uh, shoulder happen, and it happens, and you have to work it out so that it's uh, it's back to normal. And uh, apparently, a lot of people who has who have diabetes would get it, and it's not a rotator tough uh, cuff tear or it's not joint problem. It's your muscle frozen. You can't move. Uh, you leave it alone, then it's fine. And you remove, and it hurts. So you have to do physical therapy to stretch it out, stretch it out. So during the meantime, you cannot strengthen it. You know, you can't do power lift or you can't do karate or something. You have to stretch it out. And that's what happened to my patient. He has to go to physical therapy and and stretch his shoulder out. He he worked assembly line job where he does a lot of repetitive motion, like doing mails and uh, lifting the trays of. Uh, uh, weighted tray up onto a pallet so it's like maybe that caused it but they say don't know why shoulder frozen shoulder happened but if you have pain when you move shoulder and then if you don't move your shoulder then you don't have pain then that means you have frozen shoulder problem okay and you can fix it by getting to the doctor the doctor will send you to a physical therapy and they will give you exercise to stretch 20 times a day at home and then after months, it will get better, okay? You know, MRI is not going to help, and there may be underlying problems um, underneath, like a torn rotator cuff or something. But if you don't fix the, 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 the frozen shoulder, it won't help any, okay? So learn about frozen shoulder if you want. And this video is about that, frozen shoulder, if you get stiff shoulder, okay? Okay, okay, almost one more minute left before my dash cam restart. My dash cam is set up at uh, uh, recording in a loop every five minutes. I, I used to do it for 10 minutes and that would take so long to upload to YouTube. So now I'm only doing it in five minutes increment and I do it more clear. Before it was 720 by 30 bits per second. Now it's 720 um, but at 60 bits per second so the pictures will be more crisp and clear I can do HD recording but that's even more uh, megabytes right oh man my nose is itchy maybe allergies coming on there it's gonna start in a few minutes oh my gosh this woman taking her kids two kids to uh, to to school